Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day at Smart Queens. I'm in Tucson, South Tucson. Today we are gonna go on a Mexican food tour, but especially focusing on some unique, very unique Mexican dishes. Oh, we put it in the grill. Such as the bacon wrapped burrito. We're gonna see the entire process. It's amazingly stable and sturdy. <laughs> some unique Mexican street food snacks and dishes. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, it's gonna be a lot of delicious food, and I'm gonna share everything with you in this video. Starting off this food tour today at Pecheron, the home of the bacon wrapped burrito. What's up, Carlos? Buenos dias. Another Buenos day. Dias. Another beautiful day, man. In Tucson. Are Arizona. you ready for Pecheron? I got my shirt on again, man. <laughs> See? I got my shirt on again. The home of the bacon I'm ready for wrapped more food. burrito. <laughs> and you're telling me about a Pecheron, it's from Hermosillo. Yeah, Pecheron it comes from Hermosillo, Sonora, and it's um, meant to be like a big burro with a lot of stuff in it, carne asada usually, and they put a different stuff inside. But this location actually wraps the pecheron in bacon. So oh, so the pecheron is not always bacon? No, it's not always bacon. It's no. just Usually a pecheron big burro. is a, just a big burro. Okay. And in this case, uh, it's gonna be wrapped in bacon. So uh, that should be good. <laughs> My name's Alex. Alex. Yes. How long have you been running this? We've been running this business since 2013. Okay. Yeah, my family started it and yes, so yeah, we introduced the bacon wrap burrito, I believe in 2015 or 16. Okay. And yeah, we've been making it since then. Awesome. So these tortillas are straight from Mexico. Okay. That's like what makes them so delicious. Okay. Yeah, we they bring him from our hometown, Hermosillo, ah. Sonora. Oh, so you're from Hermosillo. Excuse me? You're from Hermosillo? Yes. Okay. My family is from Hermosillo, I am from Hermosillo, and okay. my brother who started the business uh, is from Hermosillo. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with a very generous amount of meat. Okay. And grow the onions. There's some onions, kind of like yeah. onions on it. So here, whenever we make it, we make it medium rare. Okay. So that when we put it on the grill, it finishes cooking and it gives that like part of the flavor, you know? Okay. The tortilla here. Yeah. Uh, we put some shredded mozzarella cheese in it. We cannot like change the way the ingredients are uh, putting together, so we start everything like meat, onion. Ah, right. And you saw how I put the tortilla on the grill, and yep. then we put the cheese here. The, the, and the cheese, so like the, layer, the layering of ingredients yeah. is is special and too, right? Yeah, so whenever you take a bite of the burrito, the cheese will be melted. That's awesome. Okay. Tomatoes, tomatoes, and a bunch of avocado. Okay, awesome. If it's a small avocado, probably one per burrito. Okay. So yeah, we put a whole avocado. Yeah, we make sure we put thick slices in it. You can feel it whenever you bite when you take a bite. Okay. Because they had mozzarella cheese and mayo. Do you see it has okay. a, just a little bit touch of mayo? Yeah. So this is what gives it the flavor and that's the difference it makes from other burritos. Okay. So but now to wrap all it up. the ingredients are set up. Yeah, we go now and wrap it up. Yeah, that's pretty huge. huge. I know, right? <laughs> it is huge. All right. Okay, now comes the bacon. Yes, now comes the bacon. I would say we use like probably five to six slices per burrito. Yeah, like that. There. So you fully coated in bacon. It's fully coated in bacon, of course. <laughs> It's so delicious. You would love it whenever you try yes. it. Okay, so this is the product almost done. Okay, wait, wait, and then right now we put it in the grill. So whenever you take a bite of the burrito, it will be crispy. You get all the goods inside the cheese, the steak, the mozzarella. The, so you cook it until the bacon is fully like, crispy oh, and yeah. caramelized and brown. Oh man. 
Oh man, the bacon wrapped pecheron. <laughs> Absolutely it's really amazing. It's, that's at least a foot long. Yeah. A foot long in these massive tortillas straight from Mexico. Carne asada goes in on that hot plate. He adds on, actually the touch that I really like is he adds on a half of, like actually like a whole avocado, right? Into it. Yeah. So that's gonna melt into the burro with that bacon. And so the final step is he just like completely just plasters it in bacon on the hot griddle and just gonna wait for all of that to sizzle all the way through on every side until it's caramelized and crispy and encased, fully burrito encased, bacon encased. Oh man. My first time ever, yes, for nice. the bacon wrapped burrito. I'll never forget it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never thought it would be. So once the bacon starts to start to like tighten up, do you see how the cheese is like wanting yeah. to come it's out bulging. and like everything? It's bold, but the but the bacon is sort of like yeah, crazy. holding it in, yeah. holding it together. Yeah. See that cheese? Yes. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. This one's ready. Oh man. It is huge. It literally is a, it's a foot long and it's like literally held together by the bacon. It's held together by the bacon. <laughs> it's exploding and bulging with cheese and melted ingredients. And the bacon is literally wrapped and like ribs, like ribs holding it together. Okay, you're gonna do one more. Yes, we're gonna do the mixed burrito, which is one of the popular ones too. Okay, and what does that include? So we start with uh, grilled onions, the pastor meat. Pastor. Uh, marinated pork. Oh, so pastor and carne asada. Pastor and carne asada, yeah. Nice. So this is what basically gives the flavor to the meat. Like. Oh man, the aroma that's still coming off of that is insane. Yeah, really good. very much absolutely awesome man good job oh thanks for me thank you nice now let's go try it it's heavy <laughs> It is massive, but typically they would slice it in half so it's easier to eat, but we thought it would, I mean, when there's something this big in front of you wrapped in bacon, I wanted to pick up the entire thing with two hands and bite it. All the juices, it's amazingly stable and sturdy. <laughs> okay, Carlos, listo. Let's do this, man. <laughs> Ready? It smells so good too, that bacon. All right, Carlos. Mm. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that is insane. There's so much going on, but everything is working together. Okay, you immediately taste the bacon, but I also immediately taste the creaminess of the melted avocado yep, you can and the melted it. cheese. Yep. Yeah. Such, such a filling, such a complete burro right here. This so is... many flavors, <laughs> so many things going on in your mouth with this burro. It's, it's amazing, it's good. It's amazing. Wow. The bacon is not overpowering, but it's there and it's flavoring and it's like crispy. You know, all just like the melted ingredients on the inside. If you choose not to cut it, you you don't have a choice to set it down. You have to keep holding it or you have to like lean it, wedge it onto your plate because we need to do a little bit of seasoning for the next bite. A little, I uh, need to have a sprinkle of lime. lime. And that tortilla is amazing too. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wow. Signature sauce, yes. Yeah. The Good. creaminess of it. The creaminess of it. And then that like little smoky chili flavor to a chipotle to it. And also with the squeeze of lime. Perfect. Counterbalancing the richness of all the meats. <laughs> it's like a baton. No, this one is carne asada and this one is... Okay, so this one is pork. Mix of pork. Adobada? It's adobada? Yeah, adobada. adobada and then also um, carne asada as well with everything. Oh, Carlos is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> it really is truly amazing. Okay, I'm gonna season at the top. I'll try that red chipotle. Fatter than that yeah, one. that one's fatter. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> this one's fatter. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Oh, yes. The jalapeno. Wow. The mix of adobada, the mixed, mixed burrito is amazing too. Because we've got the two different textures of meat, plus the, the flavor, the marinade of that adobada. I think what's amazing is that that avocado is also one of the key ingredients that makes it. The creaminess of it being melted within the burrito as it cooks, as it sears on the hot plate. This may be a failed move, but I'm gonna try to break it. Oh, you gotta, the key is you have to break it in between slices of bacon. That way it breaks off nicely, nice and even. Oh yeah, look at the inside of that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Actually, they're both good. The mixto is actually incredible though. Yep, they're both very good. Because you have that extra layer of flavor from the adobada marinade. Okay, I'm getting down to the bottom. You feel just the bacon oils and juices and meat juices just accumulating at the bottom melted avocado. Wow. Yeah, and this is a, it's a serious burrito. Not only is it a serious bacon creation, but that's a seriously sized burrito, at least a foot long, literally. The type of burrito you would eat and you can't do anything else for the rest of the day or the, or the rest of the week. That was a new burrito experience. Absolutely incredible. That bacon just cases in, encases all of the juices and just wraps it in this crunchy, ultra flavorful, crispy, bacony torpedo. Insane. And I can guarantee you, you're gonna feel sluggish after that one. But we're gonna go to the next place, which is a food truck just down the road. It's a trailer home food truck 
<laughs> it's called Elote El Frida. And this is so cool on the side of the road. We're on 12th Avenue again, which is the ultimate Mexican food street in Tucson. They do all sorts of elotes, which is... So what exactly is an elote, Carlos? Uh, it's, it's similar to the, the yellow corn, but it's more, more of a white corn. So it's not as sweet as, a, as the American yellow corn. And yes, they do mayonnaise, lime, chili sauce, uh, crema. And it's popu popular all over Mexico? Butter. I remember we had elotes in Oaxaca. Yeah, different ways you can. Sometimes they grill it. Sometimes okay. it's mostly just uh, boiled in water to make it soft. And, uh, so it, it varies. Yeah, it varies between Mexico. But this one is going to be boiled uh, on a stick. Yeah. Oh, all the toppings come out. The full corn on the cob, which is boiled, and then I think he adds some Mexican cream as well as cheese all around. So then it's on a, poked on a stick so you can pick up the whole thing. But where it really gets good is when you do your own dressing, add your own seasoning. We're gonna have Carlos show us how to do the seasoning. My favorite, Valentina. This is just the oh, spicier, yeah, Valentina. Spe spicier Valentina. Oh, nice, okay. So these are both Valentina. So I think I'll we'll go with the so spicy, spicy Valentina. Valentina then, right? Yes, for sure. Um, and then you can do both with this one. So a little bit of salsa. Now you don't need much with this elote. I mean, it's already. What pretty, is this one, Carlos? So this is uh, chamoy, chili. This is just uh, ah, okay. pure powder chili, yeah. Powder chili. This is natural powdered powder chili, yeah. And it shouldn't be too spicy, so it's gonna be mostly for flavor. The flavor is gonna come from the rest of the things in there: mayonnaise, uh, Mexican quesos, cremas, and salt. A little bit of salt here. And. And that's good. Yep. Here we go, this massive corn on the look at how huge it is. Huge corn on the cob. Carlos, you did, good, did a good job seasoning too. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, the corn is hearty, filling, juicy. You've got that creaminess. I'm not sure if it's mayonnaise or like a Mexican cream, maybe a combination of both with the cheese, with all those different salty seasonings, the salsa, the powdered chili. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. And it just gets over your entire face as soon as you take a bite. Oh, the juiciness. Mm. 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 You can tell this is fresh elote. You yeah. can tell the difference, yes. Very fresh elote, the Mexican corn, elote, corn, yeah. yeah. Corn. Hmm. So good. So good. Mm. Yeah, again, like Carlos said, the freshness of the corn is, I think, what stands out about this place. I mean, they specialize in corn. This place is amazing. It's like this empty yard in the middle of Tucson. There's some old fridges and debris laying around. There's this amazing old camper van, camper van corn cart, where they're selling the elotes prepared like this. But actually it seems to be like one of, really one of the main businesses here is the masa grinding the corn. Lots of people have come here, filled up their buckets or filled up their pans full of the, the masa and continued on their way. But this place is amazing. Mm. Do I need a tissue? Oh yeah, always remember to wipe your mouth after you eat an elote. Cheese, Valentina hot sauce, corn juice, all over my fish. Okay, listo. listo. Let's go to the next spot. Here we are, next spot. So next up on this food tour, we're going to Marimar Raspados, which is on the corner of a neighborhood and a main road. I love the colors, bright green, all handwritten, hand-painted, so cool. And they specialize in raspados, as well as all sorts of different fruit salads, and also variations of tostitos. They have tostilote, 
tostitos con cuerito, tostitos con queso, tosti jaiba. So tosti jaiba, it's crab meat, tostitos with crab meat. Tostitos locos, ok. Ok. So she's gonna make the tostitos locos, which is made from tostitos, the chips, but it's dressed with all different sorts of toppings and salsas, and so she's gonna make us demonstrate how to make a bag of tosti locos. Tosti locos. ¿Y qué es eso? Ah, ok. So cucumber goes Ajá, in. Pepino. Pepino. Ok. So that's tamarind. Peanuts. Peanuts. Chamoy. Chamoy. Oh. Y limón. Muchas gracias. La piña, piña loca. So a crazy, crazy pineapple. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Le ponemos okay. And it's served within an entire pineapple. So this is the tamarind goes in. Is there peanuts? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chamoy. Un more chamoy. Wow, ¿qué es eso? Es el dulce de tamarindo. Oh, okay. Like tamarind, tamarind fruit Ajá. leather, I think. Tamarindo. Es, en, en tam tamarindo también. Sí. Tamarindo también. They take the whole half of pineapple, they chop it up, they put it back inside, then she mixes on tamarind, there's peanuts, there's a bunch of chamoy on top, which is a fermented plum, salty plum, which actually originates in China. And so you'll, you'll find that throughout Asia as well, the same flavor, like a salty plum. So that goes on top, then she added in another layer of pineapple, another layer of peanuts and tamarind, then some tamarind and some uh, chamoy, like fruit leather goes on top, then more chamoy sauce, and then finishes it off with a chamoy straw that goes in. That is a crazy pineapple. Okay. Uh, el raspado, el raspado de mango. De mango, okay. Annette is joining us because she's the snack lover. She's the snack lover, yes. Yes. I think we should start with the Tosti Locos. Tosti Locos. Tosti locos. Try to find a complete piece of Tosti Locos. Tosti I mean, Locos. Tostitos and fill it with as much I as like you how can. it's it's like wet and juicy. There's salsas and yet it's still crunchy and there's cucumbers in here. You kinda kinda build a sandwich almost with all the different Oh. Oh Annette got a See, nice scoop. She I'm is an expert. You, she, she's an expert. I'm gonna go in her <laughs> scooper snack, spot. Snack eater right there. That's snack, pro. Snack expert, yeah. That is a pro move. <laughs> okay, I found some. You wanna scoop to the bottom. Mm. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm. The tamarind, the peanuts, the cucumber, all of that chamoy. Yeah, so very traditional snacks to us Mexicans. This, we love this every single day every single night or every weekend, whenever we can, <laughs> get this next, we get it. It is really good. Salty. For this bite, add some of the Valentina salsa. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. That extra spice, that flavor of the Valentina. Mm. And again, with all those different textures, it's amazing how the chips don't get soggy. They just remain crunchy, yet wet at the same time. Okay, so this one is a lot of the, di the same toppings except mixed within a pineapple. Listo. Listo. So you just Listo. dive right into this, try to poke up as much as you can, making sure you've got a little bit of everything and a lot of the chamoy. One, two, three, four! Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
Yeah. The pineapple is cold. Yep, so sweet. So it's nice and juicy and sweet and refreshing. Yeah, yeah, so sweet. Mmm. And then all these. Very, very flavorful. What's amazing is it looks like it's going to be crazy with so many th different things going on. And it is crazy with so many different things going on. But they all go together. It's sweet, it's juicy, it's sour, it's salty. It's everything in one, in one harmony of a pineapple. In fact, the saltiness and those different candies and syrups almost bring out the flavor of the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Even more. Okay, and then the final thing that I got is the raspado. You can get all different flavors, but it's mainly about that crushed ice, right? Yeah. What I like about these raspados is that they use fresh fruit. Ah, okay. So fresh fruit, there's ice cream in here. She layered it in. I was gonna take off this cover, but I think that might be a bad idea. I think it will completely fall yeah. over because mm -hmm. it's already melted a little bit. So I think I need a straw actually. Incredibly refreshing. I love the crunch of the ice, the ice cream and the fresh fruits. You really taste those strawberries in there too. And if I take one more drink, then we can kind of open the lid and we can spoon it. So Get it. We, we, we brought a pro when it comes to sweets. We brought and ice cream. We brought a lot of pros when it comes to sweets. Go for it. Armando. Andale, andale. Oh yeah. Armando, how's the raspado? Micah, how's the raspado? Santiago. Santiago? How's the raspado? How's the raspado? <laughs> no comments. Speechless. I see some, he, he needs more of it. I see some toasty locos on your cheek. <laughs> I like the strawberries. You like the strawberries? Okay, I'll try the mangoes. Oh yeah. This is a family raspado. Dos, Dos tres. Mm. Oh, it's amazingly creamy and refreshing and icy all at the same time. Uh oh, who's coming up? Who's coming up from the booth? <laughs> Come on, Micah. <laughs> Micah, after I ate that bacon wrapped burrito, my stomach is protruding. <laughs> okay, now this is family snacking. Mmm. <laughs> it's amazing. They've been sitting here for like five, ten minutes and they're still crunchy. By the time you get to the bottom here, you almost need a fork to scoop everything on. You do need a fork. Yeah, <laughs> it gets messy and... Mm. That is extremely tasty. And again, so many things going on, but everything working together. Okay, oh man, that was another amazing day of Mexican food in Tucson, Arizona. Again, I think this is one of the greatest Mexican food cities in the United States, especially for Sonoran food. And today we ate a lot of unique foods, some very interesting combinations, some huge things. The highlight for me for sure was that bacon wrapped pecheron burrito, gigantic burrito. Oh man, I can guarantee I'm gonna have dreams about that. It was that good. But really everything today has been superb. And the, again, the friendliness of the people of Tucson and, and the way that food is such a huge part of the culture is what always stands out to me every single day that I'm eating in Tucson. So I'll have all the places that we went to in the description box below so you can check them all out when you're in Tucson. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon. That way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching, goodbye from Tucson, and I will see you on the next video.